Today we're bringing you a special edition of The Scoop. We're here at Elevate Suits in Yarutarama and we're waiting for the one and only Albert Udatsimburgwa, the media mogul in Kigali. My name is Albert Rudatsi Mburgwa. Depending on the days, I can be a musician. I love playing and singing music, and uh, I'm also a journalist. Uh, I sometimes also play a political analyst. Um, Dream Factory is my world, somehow. It's all uh, the creative industry, you know, and it's all connected. Yeah, media, showbiz, all of that. Sometimes uh, during my, when I was much younger than now, I decided to go full-time musician and I became a professional musician. I became a producer. I've been working with a lot of artists. I've uh, been working also for a lot of media in, in Europe some sound landscaping for TVs, documentaries, movies, uh, producing all artists also, and also performing, you know, my, uh, I would say my golden years was, was when I was touring with a soul artist from, uh, from the States, because that, that was for me the, the learning time, when I could really learn what well, well, was to be on stage, the script on stage, the whole, uh, set up and all that and how it works from in and outside so the, those were the days and then I, I settled more into studio producing and all that so that came first so when I came back in Rwanda 20 years ago I was a musician I always think that what we do there is a bigger picture, there's a bigger backdrop somewhere. So it was my first love, but, but also there was somewhere a cause. And the cause has been driving me and has pushed me to also move from music to, to more than just music. What is your cause? My cause was, and it still is, but it was first Rwanda, but then it became Africa. My children. Your children? Yeah. <laughs> My kids. The family. Yeah. yeah. They have a beautiful mom and uh, and beautiful children. Mm -hmm. Then beyond that, I'll, I'd say uh, whatever we've been contributing to in, in, in rebuilding this country. Ha. Huh. Happiness, joy, you know, friendship it drives me, you know, and the challenges, yeah, taking them up. There's one thing very important in in, uh, in media is that it's it's a thing, it's a creative thing. So whatever you do. Uh, you need to, 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 to stay open to that. If you want to succeed in, in, in media, you, you, you need to be attractive, you need to be a, appealing. So stay open for creativity. And media also is, is not a one-man show. It's a team stuff. It's a team achievement. So, so you need to be open and, and, and to create that atmosphere that, that makes people be creative. And, and, be, and, and you need to be open for that. My childhood dream was to come back to Rwanda, which we did. And we were so lucky. We paid a high cost, but we're there. Uh, must have been like around eight, nine. Really? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a romantic guy, but those were the days. <laughs> uh, 
every day of your life you should be just thankful for being there and and be happy mm-hmm. you know because if you're happy you share that happiness and uh, and stay cool I mean with people just don't make it complicated and, and, and don't look for 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 the for the nasty part in life you know there's uh, there's so much nice things about people and about life of course this is a kind of cool interview the way I love them and uh, if you want to stay cool just check out on kigaliart.org.au